Hi, Sarah Odom. Minzy, I'm here again to talk to you about a series of books that we're writing for our children and my grandchildren using biblical stories. And uh, this particular book I'm going to talk to you about today is Mimsy's Bible Mystery Tales. And so one of the things that we know, one of the genres of writing and reading that people love is mysteries. Everybody loves a good mystery. Kids love mysteries too. And in the Bible, it's full of mysteries and things that they can discover. And so we take three stories and uh, we actually had t-shirts made, Finding God's Clues. Uh, we use these for our recent Kids Crusade at my church uh, where my husband pastors. And uh, the kids love the stories, and they love the activities. They love the things that we did with them. And uh, the special treat for this book is that it has a companion coloring book to go with it. So not only do they get to look at my illustrator's wonderful graphics, Mr. Mike Borromeo, but they also get to say, hey, I want to color my own way. And they get to color it themselves. So two books uh, with these stories involved in it. So let's just take a look at a couple of these stories. The first story that we we have here is called Where's Joseph? What happened to him? Where did he go? Um, you can see here we have all of Joseph and his many brothers. And uh, on the pages, we have stories. And uh, in this video one, we not only have stories, we have activities for the kids where they have to go in and find the different names of all of the the brothers here and so they they go on a journey with joseph to see what happened to him after his father showed so much favoritism and uh we can see that in the very end that the brothers discover that joseph was right and all of his dreams and everything that he went through he wound up saving them in the end and uh, he was finally reunited with his daddy and so this so that's the first story and then the second mystery we have here is, oh, who poisoned Mother Nature? Why is the earth sick? Why is she groaning? Why are bad things happening on earth? Why are why is the earth filled with disease? Why is the earth filled with um, thorns and thistles and wild animals and all this, these things? What caused her to be sick from the beautiful paradise that God made her? And so we go through this story and we see that there's so many things that happen. So many ways that the earth is sick and why she's sick. And then we find out that the remedy, of course, is the Lamb of God. Uh, that it's our sins, but Jesus made a way for us. And so um, this particular story, why, uh, why is she sick? Here we go. All the different sins. Everything that happens to us. So, um, again, second story, we find out why Mother Nature is sick. And then the next story, let me get to the right page here. The next story is why the lamb. So this is a particular story about why is Jesus called the lamb of God? And so we go through and we talk about all the different animals that are found in the, in the Bible. Uh, there's there's many animals. The lamb is not the only one. It's not even the only reference to Jesus. Uh, like the dove. The dove is important. And uh, so many other animals are important. Let's just flip through. Uh, oh, even the snake. The snake has its place. Uh, he, was, he was evil, but even Jesus uh, was uh, tells us to be wise as the snake. Wise as a serpent. So serpents, they have their place too. And, uh, oh, so many other animals that are mentioned in the Bible. The little ant, the bee, the fish, bear, spider, even the dog, and, and the, the uh, fox. So all of those are important, but none of them are called what this little lamb is called. It's called the Lamb of God. Jesus is called the Lamb of God, even in heaven. And so we talk about that. And, this, and the children learn all three of these mysteries, why they're important. Uh, why they were included in the Bible, why God wanted us to find those clues. And then we have the companion book to go with it. It's a coloring book. And uh, as you can see, it has a little bit of a storyline too. Not as much as the, the storybook, but the children do have something to read. And in it, they get to color all the different pages that go along with all the stories. The story of Joseph. Then we have the story of Mother Earth, 
and why she's sick. And then we have also the story of the lamp. And so it goes through all the different coloring pages. A uh, little book, not too thick, not too thin. Little coloring book, little story book, three stories, something to keep them engaged and learning. Um, great summer resource, great Sunday school resource. Uh, and of course, we used it with our kids' crusade. Uh, we gave all of our, our kids that came the coloring book uh, to take home with them as part of their prize. So, so many great resources here for you um, to keep your kids engaged this summer and to learn something about the Bible. It's so important to teach them. I created this little book for my grandson, Clemens, and uh, I kind of go back and forth creating. Now I have to, I used to create all of them for Clemens until Emmett came along, and now we. We rotate back and forth between Clemens and Emmett. So this was Clemens' book. It's his Bible book. Emmett already has his, and I, I have a video about that one as well. And it has some little activities and coloring sheets in it too. But uh, because we were doing this especially for our Kids Crusade, it's a duo set. Uh, you, I think you'll really enjoy going through this with your students. Uh, it gives them more understanding about sin and how it separates us from God and evil in the world, but then how that the Lamb of God brings us all back together when we accept Him, accept His love for us, accept His forgiveness. So uh, take a look at it, see if it's something you can use. Don't forget to like the video here and subscribe to the channel, Oda Ministries, because we will continue to share with you all the resources we have, not only for children, but also for women and uh, church members too. So we want to be a resource for you. And uh, also some of the materials that we talk about here, the books, there will be links for those in the bottom. And then some resources you might need for your students as you use these. So try them out, see how they, they work for you, and then give us feedback and let us know how you like them. Thanks so much. Thanks for listening. Don't forget, like and subscribe.